allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We do have an ordinance tonight um, regarding the leaf pickup. Uh, our committee put forth our suggestions. Um, Andy created that for us. So what we basically what we're doing is repealing, is we're proposing repealing the section pertaining to contractors having to haul the waste away. Um, it has been requested that we not do all three tonight. And I'm fine with that. We have time. Is it, you know, there'll be a little time for the leaves fall, but we could at least do one tonight um, and then follow up next meeting. Does anyone have any questions on? All right. That's good. Monica, are you here? Yes. You have the floor. Thank you. As many of you know, I'm the, the coordinator and the chairman for the fight, City Fireworks, and it's going to be on the 4th of July this year. Third. Excuse me, third, thank you. Thank you. And, and, and that's exactly why in respect to um, letting the town of Akron celebrate their birthday on the 4th. So um, in years gone past, many years gone past, the, the city has always supplied half of the cost of the fireworks. And in retrospect, they used to be like $10,000. In the last couple of years, they have gone up and now they are $13,000. So I just respectfully request that the city continue to do half of the cost of the fireworks. So half of 13 would be $6,500. So she's asking for a $1,500 increase? For me? She's asking for a $1,500 increase on what we've taken in for the fireworks. We've always given five. Mm -hmm. the that's, one that's, when, that's when the cost was $10,000. Oh, I understand that. We've done it, but the Legion and the V are involved in this also. Yes. Right. Yes. County, you know, what do they contribute, may I ask? The county? Nothing. Um, Ted, I did talk to Ted about this, um, and he did mention that he would have no problem bringing it out of the mayor's fund to cover the extra. Should we choose to? So that'd be you're asking 6500 Yes, sir. Yeah, it's at 5000 now, so just to increase the $1,500. Um, we'll I'll make a motion, wait. Move forward with it. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Thank you, gentlemen. Just to clarify, do you want that out of the Mayor's motion? Yeah. Okay. As long as they're still in for pizza. I told him that was the highest priority. Okay. Got to make sure right. we get there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Patience. Hello. <coughs> I just wanted to come and give you guys an update on how things are going out at the center. Um, and thank you for your second year of donations to us. It's really appreciated. Um, the first big thing is we've been able to hire Taylor on as a director of operations. So she works there about 30 hours a week and takes care of the day-to-day. -day. So I can do more on the back end, get programs um, set, and then she runs them. Um, and I'm able to meet with more donors and do more things with that. So that's pretty exciting. Um, our summer hours, we switched this year from 3 to 4.30. We moved it up to 12 to 2. And it has been extremely successful. We've served 115 lunches already this summer. Um, we have already purchased seven pairs of tennis shoes for the kids that many of them had duct tape on them, so it was pretty rough. Um, and we purchased them 10 pool passes. Um, and the reason for the pool passes is it, our goal and our mission is to keep the kids safe. And I know they're safe when they're with me. And I know if they go to the pool, which they will use those pool passes all day, every day, 
um, they have people watching them and they can be safe as opposed to walking the streets. Um, and our numbers would have more than doubled from last summer already. Like we've already far surpassed it. So I'm guessing it will be four times what we had last year at the end of the summer. Um, summers at the outlet, we kind of changed it up previously. It was summers or Fridays at the park. Um, we changed it this year because we have our own park. It's very, very exciting to have grass. Um, and we're doing three parties at the center. We did a luau. We're getting ready to do um, backyard cookout this Friday. And then we're going to do a camping themed party in July. We've had, we've already been to Elemental Art Studio. We wanted to provide the students a chance to use the fun things that are within the community free of charge to them. Elemental Art 30, or Elemental Art Studio, we had 38 kids come, and that's open to all ages and the entire community. Um, they did have to register, and we filled in two days, so that was very exciting. Um, we hosted a movie at the movie theater this past Saturday. It had 70 people there. It was very good, considering the weather was beautiful and hot, and everyone could have been out having a lot of fun outside. Um, next up, we're hosting a, bowl, a bowling day where the kids can go bowl for two hours free. And then we are doing our end of the summer pool party like we did last year. This year we are adding um, back to school supplies. And we're not doing the typical ones that Pack a Backpack does. We're gonna do the things that they don't provide, the tissue papers, the, the sanitizing wipes, the disinfecting wipes, those kinds of things so the kids can be prepared. Last year we had 250 people, or 200 people at our pool party. So we're hoping we're gonna also offer haircuts for them for free. Um, and that's a partnership with New Life Church. Um, in the fall, we are going to start four days a week, which the kids have been asking for for a couple of years now. So we'll be open Monday through Thursday for them. And we always feed them a hot lunch. So that, that's one of the highlights. They always come in and ask what's for dinner. Um, new programs for the fall. With our new space, we're able to hopefully start three new programs. One of them is fitness clubs that will meet after hours. Kids can come in. We're hoping to do Taekwondo, um, some sort of circuit training there, and yoga for the kids, and that's all free. We never charge for anything. Um, we're starting a family connection group where the families of our students can come in as an entire unit. So babies up to adults will come in, share a meal together, and then we have activities planned that will help them be a family. What does that look like? Playing board games, doing art stuff together, just doing different things together and it will be very subtle but it will <clears throat> kind of show them what things that they can do together and how that can improve their family. Um, and in con conjunction with that we're doing the links program which will be for our students that come to our after school program and this program is geared to help them with friendship. I mean COVID really has kind of stunted their growth in the socio-emotional area. Um, a lot of our kids don't understand what a friend means and what that looks like. And so we're going to try and work with them and hopefully that will ease some of their behaviors at school as well. Um, the biggest thing that we are working on this summer, which is super exciting, we're going to, we're working on partnering with the high school and hosting the alternative school at the youth center half days. Right now, they sit at a computer for six and a half hours and do credit recovery. Um, but that's not how alternative schools were proposed to be run. Um, but they don't have the space. So we are offering our space and my um, expertise as a teacher. I have a teaching license. Um, and we are going to bring them there half day and work on life skills. We want to bring in community partners to do just basic car maintenance, um, financial literacy, different things like that. and then. Not sure if you're familiar with the Bridges Out of Poverty, um, but we will be doing the R rules, which is building resources for um, high school students. So then when they graduate, they will know people within our community that they can go to if they need help. Um, starting a bank account, get a job. Um, if they need an outfit for an interview or interview practice or something like that, they'll have those connections. So we're really excited with that. Um, we're gonna start with couple hours um, three times a week and our hope is to grow to five days a week with two sessions we'll be running from 8 to 2 30 with them so that is a huge huge program that we are super excited to get started so that's all i have um, do you guys have any questions or want to know anything about what we do out there are you guys 
fully funded? No. <laughs> okay, what's, what's your shortfall? So our shortfall this year, um, we are working on raising, we are about $100,000 short because, and a lot of people in our community think that we got the property and we have a building, we don't pay rent, that it's, we're good, like we're financially fine. Um, but the truth is, we have started so many programs and we are starting to really see the lives of these kids change. And so we need to grow our programs to fit what our kids need. And that's where we're running into the financial issue. Um, we are still meeting with businesses to become partners. Um, we just started to sponsor a student program and it has gone really well. It's been going a month and we've raised 32, $3,200 already. Um, and that helps cover the cost of all their materials for programming and the hot meals and then new shoes, sweatshirts because they're allergic to coats and socks and just this year, next month we'll probably be buying school, school clothes for some of them. So, and our, prog our budget will only go up next year. So we're always looking for partners. <laughs> We get a shot of some material if you're interested. Yeah, if you're interested in looking at it. It has a little bit different information than what I shared, but it's still the gist of what we do. Um, and you guys feel free to reach out if you have an idea of a business that would be interested in supporting us. Um, or we are inviting people and businesses and groups to come out to the center and bring a meal for the kids and then hang out with them. Just play pool, basketball. Um, when it's warm outside, they'll make you go play football or basketball. But they are really good at letting people come in and hang out with them now and interacting with them. Thank you. Thank you. shared it apparently they've already been under audit for it and so they 
I said here, Lee, everybody can use ours and it covers all of the dots. Because essentially we have to make sure that we are accountable for every expenditure with any federal money. So anything that is spent, all of our hours, labor hours, all that stuff. Like I said, there's always a cost when it comes to grants. There's no free money. So, and federal grants, they're getting more restrict, more strict on requirements for the local level. That's their way of making sure that we're following it, especially for the larger units. Motion for the first reading of ordinance number 5 2023. Title only. By title only. Second. All right, and second, and all those in favor? Ordinance number 5 2023, an ordinance to adopt cost principles for spending federal funds for the city of Rochester, Indiana. Uh, questions for Shada? <laughs> Entertain a motion for the second reading of Ordinance 5 2023. So moved. Second. That was my title on my title, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? All right. Ordinance number 5 2023, an ordinance to adopt cost principles for spending federal funds for the city of Rochester, Indiana. Okay. Entertain a motion for the third and final reading of Ordinance 5 2023. Seconded. All those in favor? All right. Ordinance number 5-2023, an ordinance to adopt cost principles for spending federal funds for the city of Rochester, Indiana. All right. Any further discussion? We can pass because we have five, correct, Andy? Correct. Two-thirds. Yeah, as long as it's unanimous. Yeah, I was just going to say that. All right. And there are a motion for the adoption ordinance. Number 5 2023. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? 5 0. All right. Thank you, State Board of Council. Please. All right. Ready, Chief Butler? Here. All right. Good evening. Uh, for the month of May, structure fires three in Rochester Township. Auto fire alarms three in the city, one in Rochester Township. Brush grass fires, two in Richland Township. Vehicle fires, one in Richland Township. Burn complaints, two in the city. Mutual aid fires, one in Abenabi Township, one in Henry Township. Accidents, one in Rochester Township. Oh, I'm sorry, three in Rochester Township, two in Richland Township, one in Liberty Township. Medical assist, 22 in the city, 13 in Rochester Township, one in Richland Township. CO checks, three in the city. Gas leaks, four in the city. Service calls, three in the city. Canceled calls, to the city, one in Union Township, one in Argus. Uh, if my math is correct, that totals 70 calls for the month of May, and we conducted one drill. Pending your questions, that concludes my report. I guess for, for the drill, we did do uh, air packs, where we uh, was gonna come up in the budget this year. Uh, so we did have three different vendors bring three different packs in going to be about a $250,000 investment to replace packs and bottles that we did 15 years ago. So yeah, I'm putting on the budget for, for this year because they're, they're expiring next year. Um, I plan on using the lowest funds. Uh, Bob did come out. So a lot of different options this year. The NFPA has, has changed some things that require some, some things that added to the packs. Uh, I think the guys did do their due diligence. Uh, we had one vendor there kind of explaining some of the new technology um, that's out there. So um, the one that we propose, I will bring into a presentation once we get down to that. But uh, just, you know, it's coming up on the, on the budget. That's probably my, my big thing. But I said we are working on it this year, doing our due diligence for next year. So any questions? It doesn't seem like it could be that long ago since that seemed like it could be that long ago since we did Yeah, no, it's yeah. Yeah, I, I thought last time it'd be my last true auto. I wouldn't have to worry about it again, but yep, here I am. So I'm glad to do it. So Chief Shot. Uh, for the month of May, we had twenty-four accidents. We 
We issued 83 warnings. There were 47 offenses, 34 case reports, 646 calls for service, 26 lockouts, six towed vehicles, and 17 people incarcerated in the near of the crimes that those people were lodged for. tried to make sense out of it and you just can't but typically yeah summer months when it's warmer we have higher call volume <clears throat> how's the search going for rough yeah. we've had one application turned in yeah it's rough all right well so questions thank you chief all right randy's not here why do all these guys never show up when I'm here <laughs> running the meeting? I couldn't tell you. I don't know that I would take offense to it. I, I don't. Think you screw them all. <laughs> yeah, it must be. <laughs> Just helps. All right. It's the fast meetings. I don't know why they don't show up. Yeah. Harry's not here. David's not here. Ruth is not here. All right, Fedco. And that's Michael. <coughs> an update. Two small items real quick. We met this morning um, for a couple of hours with the state representatives from the um, USDA. Federal government's getting ready to, apparently they have a pot full of money that they're about ready to release into the states. And the uh, state directors are going around explaining what the program is to us. This was an introductory meeting and um, there will be more. It's only for small communities, I'll add. It's not for Rochester, it's for Fulton and Kiwana is, is really what it is, it's all about. Um, the other thing is tomorrow you'll be getting an email from me. Uh, it should, I hope, contain a link to the uh, housing study home, home study page that has finally got up as of this morning. And uh, it's gonna be very, very basic. But if you check in with it every once in a while, every few weeks, whatever, um, it's going to grow with more and more information. And as that information grows, I'll give you more detailed reports. The other thing, the last thing would be um, sometime in August, we haven't set a date, there's going to be a public meeting to discuss the findings of the study. And I mean, when I say public, I mean it's going to be the general public is going to be invited. And we'll be setting that up as soon as I know. I'll let all of you guys know first what's going on. Sure. That's it. Any questions? Thank you, Michael. Brett's not here. Park Board. Uh, Park Board met back on uh, June 12th, and basically they, everything's open and lots of activities uh, going on at the various uh, parks, golf course. Pool. They're still trying. They've got some, still some water challenges at the pool. Trying to figure out where some's going. Excuse me. Staying in the pool. Uh, and that's, oh, they were they were going to cut some cottonwood trees down by the pool because it was really dirty up the water, and they thought maybe it would help my golf game, but. I don't think that's enough trees. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? Thank you. Mark's not here. Todd, solid waste in Philadelphia. Yes, uh, solid waste and recycling did not meet this past month. The uh, animal adoption center report uh, was interesting. They had 25 fewer animals over the last two months brought in than they had from the previous year. Um, average stay for the animals that are there has increased slightly. 21 days on average for the cats, 20 days for the dogs. So they are looking for more folks to adopt. We do have a sponsor night at Dairy Queen coming up July 3rd. So I believe that's this coming Monday, maybe. Yeah, Monday. So if anyone is out and wanting ice cream, the 
this funds between four and ten will go to sponsor it. That's about it. Going to be able to be there, but they're still on top of things. They set out, uh, let out a new contract for removal of trimmings, and making sure that things are taken care of from the last time. They're still getting things done, even though they're not needing it here. Oh, yeah. All right. Any questions? Thank you. John, water board. Hey, everything's going good at the water plant, luckily. We're happy about that. They keep things on and just uh, let them know that the same pool and the splash pad are now open in full use. And uh, they bought the new truck and it's supposed to be delivered this month. Uh, other than that, uh, the new truck has been uh, ordered and will be delivered this month. Um, employees from the month of vacation uh, was none. And everything else is going good. No other, pro no other problems and no. Nothing going wrong. Can't ask for anything better. And my big screen went out on me tonight, and this is tough to read off of what I'm doing. All right, anyone have any questions for John? <clears throat> All right, thank you very much. Um, legal department, Andy presented us, I like, gave you the proposed ordinance. And yeah, that's a proposed ordinance. Uh, we had talked. Uh, several meetings ago about officially making the Board of Public Works the hearing authority for purposes of unsafe building. Kind of a streamlined request from Heather's office as a prominent property. I think it just makes more sense to uh, do that in front of the, the Board of Public Works. That would bring us more into line with what, what other communities do. So um, uh, that's a pretty, pretty short sweet. So this will be on our agenda next, next month. Anything else? Nothing else. All right. ADA concerns? No, no, sorry. I was writing. Uh, no, I have none. Okay. Rewind. I do. Hands. Rewind. No, uh, present at the next meeting. I do not have any updates. The only, I don't think Randy has anything new on the sidewalk project either. And I have not received any complaints. So, we're good on ADA. I got in on that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't know. 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 I don